somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at 2008's Wally. -E. Now, I have not seen this. Um, all I do know about it is that obviously we got a pretty neat looking robot here, and I believe there's something with flying lazy boys. Beyond that, <laughs> I think I'm in for a real treat. What? Yeah, I don't know too much about it either. Uh, usually I do like a good, you know, animated movie and animated, you know, as you see, we're watching Avatar for crap's sake. So, I, I mean, I have not seen this, but I'm looking forward to it. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to watch Wally and their, their adventures. I have no idea um, anything that this movie is about. Look. Pixar, um, if it's uh, Disney Pixar, if it's anywhere even remotely as good as Up was, <laughs> then I'm all in. All I know is I, I look at the, the the poster and of course our backdrop, and I think looks like a, a film that I remember very Johnny uh, Five, yeah, very <laughs> fondly from the '80s called Short Circuit. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I haven't seen it rather. Check it out. Butter. But uh, Wally looks like Johnny Five, but I think we're in for a fun ride. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's go. The slick town Barnaby Sparkle. Jeez, just already just looking at the animation. Yeah. God. Oh, wait. Yep, 2008. I was going to say all the satellites. <laughs> I wonder what this song is from. <laughs> oh, well, it's windmills. This bunch doesn't look very appealing, it, does it? No. Things not go well for Earth in the, in the future here. Apparently no. Wow, what's with all the, what's happening to all the buildings? Is that it's like like, like anthills or something or uh, termite mounds? Well, is that a bunch of like vines like that grew up? Vines on grew on yeah. skyscrapers and stuff. Well, is this our guy? Hey! There he is. So he's a trash compactor. <laughs> makes cute. Wait, what? Oh, cockroaches! Of course they survived. He's got a cooler. <laughs> so that's all this little guy does is make these. Oh huge, wow! These huge like towers of crushed junk. <laughs> Okay, so those are okay. So there's some buildings that are there, but this is all his creations. Yeah, so mm -hmm. he's been here a while. Post apocalyptic Disney movies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's weird that this stuff mm. is still active. Oh, the Fred Ward. Oh, <laughs> see that? Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch oh. of other Wallies. Oh, no. Ooh. His track's going. Janky. Oh no, he's got a bad track. Oh, oh he got nice. he some good, good to go. Okay. B and L Starliners leaving each day. We'll clean up the mess while you're away. The jewel of the B and L fleet, the Axiom. Spend your five-year cruise in style. Non-stop entertainment, fine dining, and with our all-access hover chairs. Uh, there's your uh, recliners. Yeah. Oh, he's got CDs hanging yeah. up. All the stuff he wanted to oh, keep. Oh, so he keeps, yeah, he keeps certain stuff. He <laughs> hangs up his tracks. Hangs up his tracks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Hello, Dolly. <laughs> he's got an old, an old iPod. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, oh, nice. Everything wants to be a hat like they have. Yeah. Lighter. Lighter. Oh. <laughs> BNL like the the transit. Yeah, everything's BNL. So the robots are sentient. Oh, he's recording. He's lonely. So only got his cockroach buddy, and that's it. Oh. 
Is that like smog, so you, you can only see the stars once yeah, in a while? Yeah, must be. Oh, we got a dust oh, storm. Dust storm. Get oh. back inside, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, this little cockroach. Mm, got him. <laughs> oh, he's just waiting for his buddy. Ah, Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Charging up. Oh, look at that. That <laughs> made the windows sound. <laughs> That's great. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Almost ran over his buddy. So he's still out there just <laughs> still cleaning up. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Keeps the, bars. the case. <laughs> A boot trophy. <laughs> 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 Get that thing out of here. Oh, what's he oh, making? He's building a whole new one. Oh, yeah, a whole new building. Oh, Whoa. okay. Whoa. Oh, I guess, oh, yeah. yeah, first sign of life. <laughs> it's like somebody a, using a laser pointer? Yeah, like you would on a cat. <laughs> oh, a bunch of them. Something scanning the city? That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a futuristic robot here. I guess they both are. Well, a little more futuristic than <laughs> Wally. Uh, finally has somebody else other than his cockroach. That's it? All that just to drop off one robot? It's weird that it like shivers when the heat goes yeah. up too high. Ow. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, hey. We got a mushroom cloud from that? Oh, buddy. What is this thing scanning for? Uh -huh. Oh, that's a lot of tires. I think needs to chill out a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Who says robots can't have feelings? Evacuation Which sale. <laughs> I know I close my eyes different. <laughs> oh, what is he gonna do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wally. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he goes and kicks him. Wow. 
Hmm. Oh, she's oh, stuck. No. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> a bit of a temper. All right, got out of there. Got out of there. <laughs> Vienna lines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look. The, oh, old, oh, the old staircase. Oh, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> really, the last one? <laughs> I'm just going to kind of hang out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wally going to do the old come here. Visal, Mary, Directive. Oh. Already a better oh. love story than Twilight. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking him back to the crib. <laughs> he was trying to protect her. I wonder what she, uh, she's oh, scanning she's, for. I think she's searching for like a sign of life. Maybe she'll see the plant. But the life like, would have been the cockroach, though. She scanned that. Yeah, maybe searching for plant life. I mean, or maybe there's something specific she's searching for that he has in. Oh, in the Twinkie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble wrap. <laughs> Watch, she'll have it solved right when he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive with everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh man, the, no, the, fire. Just... <laughs> the flames in the eyes. Yeah, what a, sh a shot! An anime. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna call it a shot. <laughs> oh, oh, he's making a move. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's so making nervous. A move. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh. That's yep. it. Now the pod's oh, going to come back pod. down. Look at that. Doesn't even want to do his job. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 just, just zapped. Oh, that's gonna be that's... a power overload for yeah. him, yeah. Like that was a good idea. Oh, they're going to lights. Oh yeah, this, she's lighting up the lights. Oh, oh, watching a sunset together. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh. Hey! To peel her hand out. <laughs> just cranking the arm out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, he's gonna go to work, huh? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah! Here it comes. Oh, here it comes back. <laughs> 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 go, oh, go, 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 go! See, that's a long ways to go. 
Got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See, that's where Tom Cruise got it from it Permission Impossible. From Wally. From Wally. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> All the satellites. Oh, satellite garbage. <laughs> Sputnik. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> we'll pass the moon. See, we landed on the moon. <laughs> Wow, so they're not just uh, like right nearby, are they? No. Well, in the beginning, they said it was five years on the ship to get to wherever they were going. So, so that's it's, scaled. It's quite massive. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, it's a big one. <laughs> they gonna know what to do with Wally? Oh, they're gonna get them all cleaned up. <laughs> Troll boy. <laughs> Sleeping his treads everywhere. Ah, oh, see, now he realizes he can go wherever he wants. Well, driving range and bit of new virtual walls. Well, then what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> to break <brain laughs> right there. To <laughs> Make a place. Grieve, jealous. It does sound. Well, it does sound. Well, not making too many bones about what their uh, predictions for the future are, no, are they? Not at all. Your day is very important to us. Hey, take a cup. Ah! Is that our boy <laughs> John? Leaving again? <laughs> yep, that's John. <laughs> He's in hey, everything. He can't get up. So, please remain no. stationary. What's going on? <laughs> uh, John. <laughs> His real name, John Hatzenberger. These, or by and large. Your very best friend. <laughs> Your very best friend. By and large. A lot of, a lot of consumerism going on here. <laughs> they never taken off the screen before? Mary? He's oh. Huh? <gasps> I didn't know we had a pool. <laughs> the robot doesn't <laughs> care. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, it's been longer than five years. Yeah. They've been flying <laughs> around for no. 2775. Morning. Just a trim? <laughs> Look at how the size of the captains have been yeah. getting bigger. 
Oh my <laughs> clapper. <laughs> Coffee. Protocol auto. First things first. Computer, status report. Mechanical systems, passenger count. Unchanged. Regenerative food buffet. Unchanged. Re regenerative, regenerative food buffet. Honestly, it's the one thing I get to do on the ship. Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to day 255,642 oh, aboard the Oh, man. Oh, hey, I see the ship's log is showing that today is our 700th anniversary. 710 years. <laughs> uh, 710 uh, years, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, see. Yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, Otto, what's that flashing button? Problem has returned positive. <laughs> Greetings. It means it's time to go back home. We can begin Operation Recolonize. Yeah, no. Not sure about that. Oh, man. Place the plant in your ship's hollow detector. Axial will immediately navigate your return to Earth. See you back home real soon. It's been 710 <laughs> years. Relay instructions. Wow. <laughs> Voice authorization required. Uh. Accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, where is it? We're not going to Earth. I guess things go back to normal, huh? Correct, Captain. And uh, have them run diagnostics on her. Make sure she's not melting. <gasps> Wally. Have uh, Wally cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Subject is most commonly referred to as soil, dirt, or earth. Earth. Define earth. You got a while. Earth. Yeah. The surface of the world is distinct from the sky or sea. <laughs> this guy's still cleaning up after <laughs> Wally. Oh, look look gorgeous. Up. What? Whoa. <laughs> 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 Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> Slow motion. Oh, that's Slow bad. Oh, I thought it was gonna blow a hole in the ship. Yeah. Wally. Uh oh, they're free. <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> troublemakers are out and about now. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh boy. Rogue robots. It's true. Oh. Caution. Rogue robots. Wally. Wally getting her into trouble. Escape pods. Yep, always escape pods. <laughs> Rogue robots. <laughs> <laughs> Earth. She's going with him, right? I don't think so. Oh, no. Directive. No. 
No, 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 no. Well, where'd the plant go? It shouldn't even have it. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, he had it this whole time. Why is he sending it back to Earth? Wally. Eva. Wally. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's all auto. 20 seconds to self-destruct. Whoa. Oh, because the robot wanted to get rid of the plant, but why? <laughs> Four. Three. Yeah, he remembers the fire two. extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's using the, the thrust from the fire extinguisher. <laughs> 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 oh. Hey! <laughs> yeah, come on, Eva. I mean, he's he's doing this without you know all the tools you got. Yeah. He's using the, just a, that's a big fire extinguisher yeah. that's still got some juice left. Yeah, you don't need a lot to get uh, your momentum going yeah. in space. Well, it's futuristic too. Yeah, she took her oh. screen off. Hey. Uh, what? Hey. Hey, it's your buddy John. Hey, hey. there we go. Love uh, connection going on. You know, people have been so uh, obsessed with what they're watching and drinking. They didn't pay Define to anybody else. Hold down. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like immersed. Look at this pizza. Wow. Earth is amazing. Yeah. Humans will put seeds in the ground, pour water on them, and they grow food like pizza. <laughs> well, not exactly. Uh, yeah, grow the ingredients, uh, so to speak, but uh-oh. Oh, he's running out. <laughs> oh, they're on the lookout for yeah. him. <laughs> Where's the blue sky? Yeah. Where's the the grass? I know that song. You made it somehow, that little guy. Oh <gasps> no. This needs water and sunlight. Oh, she's just Gosh. realizing that Wally's been trying to hold her hand. Yep. Better late than never. Mm -hmm. Now she gets to see what he's done for. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff he was doing for her. Oh, he waited for her. Mommy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how he squishes down so he should be fine. Sorry to tell you. There you go, little guy. Just need someone to look after you, that's all. Ah, oh, now he's putting it together. We have to go back. Otto? Come down here. Aye, 
voice. Otto, he found the plant. Fire up the hollow detector. I should do it myself. Otto, get out of my way. We cannot go home. What are you talking about? Why not? That is classified. Tell oh. me what's classified. Oh. <laughs> hey, pilots. Operation cleanup has failed. Just stay the course. Easier for everyone to remain in space. No. Wait a minute. Message received in the year 2110. Oh, 600, 700 years ago. Yeah. Otto, things have changed. We've got to go back. But life is sustainable now. Oh, he's always been there. We are going home today. Go for it. Hey! No! It's a good thing somebody's in there. Yep. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Saving the day. Holy! <gasps> no! Oh, hey, 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 hey! Tasing them. Oh, Oh, uh, my mice. Mice. <laughs> activating airlock disposal. Oh, same, same thing, yep. except stacking them, they just toss them out into outer space. Activating airlock disposal. Sorry to terminate. Oh no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 He needs some sun. <laughs> Start cleaning, cleaning him. Up. Oh, Circuit no. Ride. Oh, hey. Hey. All the parts he needs to fix him are on mm -hmm. Earth. Yeah. Uh, well, they, had, they must have re like had some sort of recognition with Wally. Yeah. Crazy Wrong. Paint robot. Wrong. <laughs> we are currently having. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, he's sending all of them. Oh, he's. Caution. Rogue robots. The plant! We'll see who's powerless now. Hey, this is the captain. <laughs> He's whispering. Bring the plant to the Lido deck. Now hurry! Otto's probably gonna cut me up! Oh! Clear. Oh, <laughs> 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 <The spinner. laughs> Look what I got, Otto! Not possible. The plant! Oh, you want it? Okay, that's eerie. I don't think I'd respond to that. Not <laughs> creepy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> kind of wonder how it's going to work with their lack of bone structure. With the autopilot. <laughs> That's not good. It's like the Titanic. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Come on, Wally. There you go. 
<laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> Nature Boy Ric Flair gonna come out here? <laughs> so what is that Space Odyssey 2000? Yeah. What up? You are relieved of duty. Has just been revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey. Yeah, we got some. Oh, hey. He stayed. Wally. Oh, He's got to get to his house to get his parts. Oh, she's working fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cockroach is like the impatiently waiting. <laughs> Every time. Was he gonna remember her? Oh, let's see. Oh no! Oh, no! 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 no. Remember as a new yeah, memory. Yeah, so he forgot everything that made him him. Oh, no. Yeah, he's just doing his job now. Oh! Oh, oh. God, he got me again! With the cockroach. <laughs> Wally! Going a little hard on me, Pixar. <laughs> little spark, come maybe? On, come on. It's got to be the spark. Oh. Eva? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah! Oh. I was afraid we were going to lose Wally there. I won't lie. Hurry. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, go, go. You kids are going to grow all kinds of plants. Oh, oh hey, look wait at that. a minute. Well, so is that just beyond? That's just beyond, and maybe. Yeah. They just got to do something but all satellites. Yeah, yeah, they got a robot that'll clean that up. Oh, boy. That's a uh, Starlinks out there. <laughs> Skynet. Elite. No, it would have been a. It would have been a fluorescent. fluorescent. Yeah, compact fluorescent. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> have LED to get that. Oh wait. Wow. Oh, there it was, guys. There it was. That was Wally. 2008's right. Wally, and you know, right off the bat, the first thing that hits you is just how good the animation was on this. Now, Pixar, notorious for doing a fantastic job with their animation. This one was absolutely every bit as good as anything they've done. So fantastic, you know, job and big shout out to everybody involved for making that work and, and the real fun story. You know, I, I'm sure that there is a ton you can pull from this movie um, on a million different topics. So much deeper than just an animated kind of fun cartoon for, you know, I won't even say kids. People of all ages certainly can enjoy it. But it was interesting from the start we had um, a robot that kind of had feelings and was sentient, for lack of a better word. And um, all the different little robots kind of reminded me of the Minions a little bit. With, yeah. You know, they were yeah. saying things, mm -hmm. but you didn't know what they were saying, but you still kind of got it. So I'm sure maybe there was some influence there Wally. later Mo. on in the Minion Mo. movies. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, a ton to pull from. I mean, take your pick with, um, you know, taking care of the planet, consumerism. Yeah. I mean, they pretty much hit on, on a ton of heavy duty issues. But, um, you know, I think what it all boiled down to, at least for me, what I took from it was that most important thing in life is other people. I mean, we've seen that a million times. They were they were on the ships. They had everything they could possibly want. They didn't have to do anything, but 
you know, were they really happy? You know, not until yeah, the they, screens they weren't came even, away. Yeah, and they, they weren't even interacting, it, like yeah, truly they, interacting. Until they made that personal connection with, with the other people on the ship. And that's when it seemed to really make a difference. Uh, so for me, that was kind of the big, the big takeaway from it. Now, um, obviously there's a lot of other things that can hit on. I'm sure if we go, um, after we wrap up here and kind of go into our research and go down the, the Wally rabbit holes, yeah. I'm sure there's a ton of messages out there, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, the importance of other people was kind of the big one for me that, that really drove it home. Um, it was really cool to see all the different robots and doing their, their little jobs and their tasks and everything. Like I said, very much <laughs> reminiscent of, of minions. So, Again, we, we talk about this all the time when you're watching, you know, a movie like this. Are there any nitpicks or faults or anything like that you can find? And, and I really don't, I really don't see any, any in Wally. And I, I don't know, guys. I mean, did, did you out there see any, any faults with Wally or anything you would have done differently? Because I don't. I think for this movie, this genre, what you were looking for, I I have a hard time not Look giving that. not giving Wally a five. I'm, you know, I was going through it in my head uh, about halfway through the movie, kind of thinking like, I'm gonna have to give this thing a five. <laughs> you know, it was it was so well done, and, and I really do think that movies like uh, Wally and Up, they're I think they're the benchmarks, at least that I've seen, and that's what um, all of you out there have talked about and recommended. Uh, these are definitely the heavy hitters um, outside of certainly the Minions franchise for Pixar. So Wally did not disappoint and a uh, perfect five for me. Jeez, how do you follow that? Well, let's try it. Um, this was a lot of fun. And God, just a movie like this makes you really <laughs> love a robot. And it's funny seeing the love story. And like you even said, the joke's still a better love story than Twilight. I second that, and I will wholeheartedly agree with that. Between Wally, team Wally. and Eve, uh, yeah, we're yeah. team Wally. <laughs> but this was uh, this was so much fun, and then you got to see like you touch base on where they were in space for seven hundred years. So Wally's been around for seven hundred years, collecting a lot of cool stuff, you know. Because I could see like after how long he'd just be like bored, and he's yeah. like, all right, and he starts collecting like the most obscure things that we saw, the Rubik's cube light bulbs a lot of lighters i mean anything and everything and then he always watches the same yeah, same hello dolly job, and still doing his yeah. job so yeah i like i love that he's he's got his lunch pail <laughs> <laughs> going out and doing his work and and hell and like the thing about it is this is a fun one for you know parents and kids alike and then it makes you feel at the end like look at us three old schmucks we're worried we're gonna lose wally yeah. like we haven't cared this much about a robot since short circuit and johnny five <laughs> that we thought we almost lost them so for me just everything and just seeing the interactions and how they're like they, they hold, did the whole Ric Flair, the Space Odyssey to get him back <laughs> to great. walking again. It was perfect. So for me, of yeah. course, I got to go five answers. I mean, were you not entertained? And it was uh, just amazing. Yeah. Boy, you could dive deep into this one. Oh, my God. I, I, uh, Time for Oak to find lessons, which I'm sure he's going to find of many. Course, so. Of course I did. So there you know, but I, I have to be honest. They didn't like it's a they didn't hit me until the end. So when we watched Up, the, the lessons in Up were pretty, like, right out there i mean they just spoon fed it to you mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that in in a bad fashion at all because man there was i think you know, all of us were like ugh, just you know gut wrenched and then uh, you know just uh, over the moon with up um so i don't think the lessons were quite as uh, as transparent in this movie as they were in up and they didn't really start hitting me until the end and i pulled my three big things out of this um First and lesson. Now time for Oaks three big things. Right, <laughs> the, three. Um, the first one is oh, I like um, it. I like it. know what has value. Being able to recognize what has value in this world and in this life. Wally was cleaning up garbage for hundreds of years, and that little home of his recognized his ability to notice the difference between junk and value. And it wasn't always big fancy things as we saw him toss the ring to the side. Mm -hmm. Right? They he made a very, the very strong point of tossing the ring, but he kept parts for himself. He kept Rubik's Cubes. He kept things that that had value. Um, and, and I think that was that was a, a, a strong point that they hit with Wally, especially when he tossed the ring. 
Um, and later in the movie, we saw these people just like mindlessly taking hot laps around. Oh, I don't know. We had a pool. They're watching the stars. And it's like sometimes we get so caught up in, in, in day-to-day life. And, and I'm guilty as hell with my, with my phone and, and technology and stuff. And I think sometimes we lose sight of the things that really has value in this world. And sometimes it's not always material things or fancy electronics. So uh, I like that right from the beginning that, that here's a robot that was able to that was able to know that something had value, especially with the plant. Um, so the second thing that I really took away from this that didn't really hit me until the end um, was the lesson that anything in life that's worth having is worth fighting for. And Eve came down, right? And of course, there's no way to predict, you know, what's going to happen over the course of, you know, the timeline in, in which this movie took place. But Wally was persistent. <laughs> and when, you know, she closed off with the plant, he stood there right by her side, covering her, and then off in the spaceship, and he's risking his life. And then later on, we see her doing the same. She's risking his life for him. She's off after the escape pod. She's frantically, you know, running around trying to find spare parts for him to make it work. And and uh, she realizes that, like, the only way to fix him is to get back to Earth. So that's, like, her goal. And then even the captain of the ship, like, okay, yep, you know, Earth isn't what it used to be. But, you know, he was... He was ready to fight for it. He was adamant. Mm-hmm. And you had all these people that, like, the, the the captains, oh, you know, the machine said, you don't have to do anything. You just sit there. All your food is is in a drink, you know. It carts you around. And, and so I thought that was a really strong lesson. And then the other big thing that I, I think that, you know, and this might be my own creative interpretation, but I, I think this was kind of the other thing I took away from it was that um, only takes one small step or one small act sometimes to make waves and to have a huge impact wally took the 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 plant out of the out of the refrigerator you know cut it open i wonder what's in here again he recognized the plant's value and and kept it um you know the the decision by the captain we're gonna go back you know sometimes uh you know in everyday life like when we look at making a change how can i make a change how can i make a change so often we feel like we're powerless to do that because oh i don't have you know you know zuckerberg money to throw a billion dollars at a foundation or i don't have the type of skills to go out and and do something to make a difference and i think sometimes you overthink that and if you just just the littlest things you know random acts of kindness helping people out things like that but i think that was the other lesson i took away is that it doesn't you know, it started with one little plant, yep. and then um, in in the credits we saw that that one little plant that he he planted in the ground. Now we did see that there was beyond what um, you know what uh, what they had originally kind of showed us yeah. as as the uh, the landscape of the earth. We saw beyond that there was already vegetation and life. So they didn't have to it's they didn't have to start from just a little yeah. plant, but. But the captain didn't know that. And when he yep. got there, this is farming. This is how we're going to do stuff. And it all started with that with that one little step. So I thought this movie was an absolute home run. Um, and then it, I was going to say too quick with the credits where they ended where it all ended with all back to the one plant from the boot. I thought yeah, that was, that was a nice was special the touch. It's like, yeah. you know, that was a nice touch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they did a phenomenal job with this. It didn't. I, I think I probably laughed just as much as I laughed. Um at up and i know these are two completely separate movies so it's not really fair to compare them i think up definitely hit the the heartstrings a little bit harder but that was that was the point of that movie um there was some parallels with the movie up and some of the things that happened in my family so it hit even harder when i watched up but um i didn't enjoy this movie any less and in fact I gotta be honest, like coming in, the robot <laughs> and, and maybe maybe Diamond Dave or can drop a, a a picture from short circuit. I'm like, okay, is this gonna be where the robot comes to life? And then I thought it was yeah. gonna be just an adaptation. Look, and it wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, you know, short Johnny, circuit was Johnny a, Five. Short circuit was a fun movie. 
Um, but the, the robot had some similarities and um, I think they very much did that on purpose for the parents. So if you, yeah. if you were going to take your kids in this movie in 2008, you were probably of the age where you watched Short Circuit when you were a kid and probably had some, oh, it looks just like Johnny Five. Yeah. Um, but it, it didn't take any of that. You know, it didn't. No. I mean, Wally from the beginning, like I said, recognized value. Um, he was kind of alive, like from the get go. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like he was just some robot who met Eve and then that brought him to life. But yeah, the, um, the line that the captain had that I really liked was, uh, "I don't, I don't want to survive. I want to live." That was that, that was, was really big. You know, because like you said, he stay in the ship, you'll survive. He's like, no, I don't want that. I want to live, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, obviously the other people on the ship felt the same way. And if there's uh, anything else I learned from this movie, it's that there is somebody for everybody. <laughs> there is an Eve to the Wally, uh, the other lovely couple that uh, I forget their names. Uh, that uh, Mary and John. John. And Mary and John. And look, their life started when... Like they got rid of yeah. all the distractions yeah. and everything. So, I am. Uh, I mean, come on, guys. What? 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 What am I? What I mean, else? Yeah, am what, I are we, what are we doing here? What yeah. else am I going to give this? How do you find other than a five? We are two Pixar movies in, uh, and we are straight fives for all of them, all the way across the board. And once again, uh, I know so many of the movies that we watch come from, you know, recommendations and polls, and you guys should watch this. So. If you were one of the, I don't know how many people who said, you guys got to watch WALL-E, this is one that, I got to be honest, guys, probably wasn't going to be on my list. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe in a year or two or three or whatever, looking for movies on a Sunday with my son to watch, and, and this pops up. But this definitely wasn't going to be on my radar anytime soon. And I absolutely loved it. So thank you guys for that. And drop your interpretations and how you felt about the movie in the comments below as always we love hearing your guys um input and feedback uh <laughs> things that we missed i'm sure we missed well, something yeah. well and the thing about this was cool is it came out in 08 so you guys can even comment about if you were a kid and went and saw it with your parents oh, you know, yeah. and even now if you're showing it to your kids because i mean this would be a, a fun fun movie to, i i mean we we're lucky we get to watch it on big screen TVs and stuff like that. But watching in the theater, just just sitting there having popcorn with your kid or with your mom or dad watching it, that had to be so much fun. Yeah, and I don't want to say it predicted a lot of things, but it certainly got a lot of things pretty <laughs> close it's, for it's, it's, Look, and, and that's the one. Look, we don't, we never get political here. We're, we're here to have fun, watch yeah. movies, and regardless of how you feel about anything with whatever, I think we can all agree that even doing small things um, to take better care of this planet, whether that means don't litter. Uh, if you're out on a walk uh, and, you, and you see something that you can pick up and find a trash can for it and do so, um, you know, be nice to nature, leave things better than you found it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a lesson. Like I said, we don't have to get into it, but, no. uh, I was you know, about just the, the, the constant uh, screen time. Right, you know, right. Look, I, I think uh, I think we can all agree yeah. that whatever steps we can take collectively to, to just take better care of the planet just in general. Um, Go a long way. Probably goes a long way. So yeah. clean up after yourself. Don't ever litter. Follow the yeah. three R's, right? <laughs> reuse, 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 recycle. There's yeah. that owl. So, <laughs> there we go. So there we go. So thank you once again. We thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, 15 out of a possible 15. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. And I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, I thought we were going to.